that we're looking at in this video is the 40 extender. We've been using the 40 Wi-Fi 60D. We've been using the 40 extender 20B and also the 40 switch 80 power over Ethernet. On the 40 extender, we left the management, all of those configurations the same. I have upgraded the firmware from version 1 to version 2 and all of the configurations that you see we left as default. The status, we just look at the Howie modem that we've been using and that was the 3276 in this testing module. The first thing that I've done on the networking interfaces is I've, I've selected the dedicated 440 AP. In this case I've used my WAN 1 interface. Make sure that the interface was showing up. And it automatically changed it to the CAP, WAP configuration. On the command line what I've done, what you need to do is you need to go into the config system global set 40 extender enable set uh, set wireless controller enable and you can just end the configuration what I've done there was just to show the configuration and you can see that it actually picks up an IP address between the 40 gate firewall and the 40 extender you should be able to ping between the 40 gate and the 40 extender as well So, once you log on, you will be able to see under the network, you can see the 40 extender and you can just select that you want to authorize the device. What I've also done is I just went to select the modem configuration there to make sure that my modem component will also be working. And I just went config system modem. Just look at the configurations that was there and then just go uh, set status enable. You can just end the configuration again. And when I went back, my device was authorized. It tells you the model, it will give you the MAC address. You can see the IP address that you will be able to bring from the, the, the firewall. You can see the device that's been connected, the modem device has been connected. Um, but what you can also do is just to ping from the firewall uh, to the internet and you should be able to see the packet size increasing so it's also a nice quick way to see if the, the, the wireless device is working also the routing table you can see that the default route is pointing to the new interface that's been configured by the by the firewall itself under the, under the extender I haven't made any changes there I left all the configurations as default And also the data usage, the current usage, you can see that it, the data packets there are increased. What you can also do is configure a policy. So the policy was just to allow traffic from the wireless component. In this case, my LAN 1, uh, select all. It was just in a lab environment, so just created a policy to make sure everything was working to the new um, Fix1 interface. I just select all. The network components, components you can leave as NAT, there's no need to change any of that. And then just uh, make sure the policy is enabled. You can also see that uh, once I've tested with my iPad that the packets they started to increase. You get into the 40 view, you can see the source, you can see the sessions, you can see the bytes. So that's a quick way to make sure that your device is working and so you can see the traffic going through the firewall using the newly configured uh, 3G, 4G device. And applications, you can see the applications that that's been used. In this case I've used YouTube to test the, the configuration from the wireless to the 3G, 4G network. Under the 4G extended feed double click on it, you can pick up the IP address configurations that's been and it down by DHCP from your service provider. No need to make any changes there. 